improving the performance of Java persistence API applications by setting the second level cache. This chapter explains how to modify the second level cache mode settings to improve the performance of applications that use the Java persistence API. The following topics are addressed here. Overview of the second level cache specifying the cache mode settings to improve performance. Overview of the second level cache. A second level cache is a local store of entity data managed by the persistence provider to improve application performance. A second level cache helps improve performance by avoiding expensive database calls, keeping the entity data local to the application. A second level cache is typically transparent to the application, as it is managed by the persistence provider and underlies the persistence context of an application. That is, the application reads and commits data through the normal entity manager operations without knowing about the cache. Note, persistence providers are not required to support a second level cache. Portable applications should not rely on support by persistence providers for a second level cache. The second level cache for a persistence unit may be configured to one of several second level cache modes. The following cache mode settings are defined by the Java persistence API. Table 38-1 Cache Mode Settings for the Second Level Cache Cache Mode Setting Description ALL All Entity Data is stored in the Second Level Cache for this Persistence Unit. None No Data is Cached in the Persistence Unit. The Persistence Provider must not cache any data. Enable Selective Enable Caching for Entities that have been explicitly set with a Cacheable Annotation. Disable Selective Enable Caching for all entities except those that have been explicitly set with a Cacheable False Annotation. Unspecified the caching behavior for the persistence unit is undefined. The persistence provider's default caching behavior will be used. One consequence of using a second level cache in an application is that the underlying data may have changed in the database tables, but the value in the cache has not, a circumstance called a stale read. Stale reads may be avoided by changing the second level cache to one of the cache mode settings, controlling which entities may be cached described in controlling whether entities may be cached, or changing the cache's retrieval or store modes described in setting the cache retrieval and store modes. Which strategies best avoid stale reads are application dependent. Controlling whether entities may be cached. The Javax. Persistence. Cacheable annotation is used to specify that an entity class, in any subclasses, may be cached when using the enable selective or disable selective cache modes. Subclasses may override the cacheable setting by adding a cacheable annotation and changing the value. To specify that an entity may be cached, add a cacheable annotation at the class level. Cacheable. Entity public class person. By default, the cacheable annotation is true. The following example is equivalent. Cacheable true. Entity public class person. To specify that an entity must not be cached, add a cacheable annotation and set it to false. Cacheable false. Entity public class order status. When the enable selective cache mode is set, the persistence provider will cache any entities that have a Cacheable true annotation in any subclasses of that entity that have not been overridden. The persistence provider will not cache entities that have Cacheable false or have no Cacheable annotation. That is, the enable selective mode will only cache entities that have been explicitly marked for the cache using the Cacheable annotation. When the disable selective cache mode is set, the persistence provider will cache any entities that do not have a Cacheable false annotation. Entities that do not have a Cacheable annotation in entities with a Cacheable true annotation will be cached. That is, the disable selective mode will cache all entities that have not been explicitly prevented from being cached. If the cache mode is set to undefined, or is left unset, the behavior of entities annotated with Cacheable is undefined. If the cache mode is set to ALL or none, the value of the Cacheable annotation is ignored by the persistence provider, specifying the cache mode settings to improve performance. To adjust the cache mode settings for a persistence unit, specify one of the cache modes as the value of the shared cache mode element in the persistence. 
XML deployment descriptor. Persistence unit name equal example poo transaction type equal JTA. Provider. Org. Eclipse. Persistence. JPA. Persistence provider. Provider. JTA data source. JDBC. Default. JTA data source. Shared cache mode. Disable selective. Shared cache mode. Persistence unit. Note, because support for a second level cache is not required by the Java Persistence API specification, setting the second level cache mode in persistence. XML will have no effect when using a persistence provider that does not implement a second level cache. Alternately, the shared cache mode may be specified by setting the JAVAX. Persistence. Shared cache. Mode property to one of the shared cache mode settings. Entity manager factor f equal persistence. Create entity manager factory my example poo. New properties. Add JAVAX. Persistence. Shared cache. Mode. Enable selective. Setting the cache retrieval and store modes. If the second level cache has been enabled for a persistence unit by setting the shared cache mode, the behavior of the second level cache can be further modified by setting the JAVAX. Persistence. Cache. Retrieve mode and JAVAX. Persistence. Cache. Store mode properties. These properties may be set at the persistence context level by passing the property name and value to the entity manager. Set property method, or may be set on a per entity manager operation entity manager. Find or entity manager. Refresh or per query level. Cache retrieval mode. The cache retrieval mode, set by the JAVAX. Persistence. Retrieve mode property, controls how data is read from the cache for calls to the entity manager. Find method and from queries. The retrieve mode property can be set to one of the constants defined by the JAVAX. Persistence. Cache retrieve mode enumerated type, either USC the default or bypass. When set to USC, data is retrieved from the second level cache, if available. If the data is not in the cache, the persistence provider will read it from the database. When set to bypass, the second level cache is bypassed and a call to the database is made to retrieve the data. Cache store mode. The cache store mode, set by the JAVAX. Persistence. Store mode property, controls how data is stored in the cache. The store mode property can be set to one of the constants defined by the JAVAX. Persistence. Cache store mode enumerated type, either USC the default, bypass, or refresh. When set to USC the cache data is created or updated when data is read from or committed to the database. If data is already in the cache, setting the store mode to USC will not force a refresh when data is read from the database. When the store mode is set to bypass, data read from or committed to the database is not inserted or updated in the cache. That is, the cache is unchanged. When the store mode is set to refresh the cache data is created or updated when data is read from or committed to the database, and a refresh is forced on data in the cache upon database reads. Setting the cache retrieval or store mode. To set the cache retrieval or store mode for the persistence context, call the entity manager. Set property method with the property name and value pair, entity manager m equal m. Set property JAVAX. Persistence. Cache. Store mode. Bypass. To set the cache retrieval or store mode when calling the entity manager. Find or entity manager. Refresh methods. First create a map. String. Object. Instance and add a name. Value pair as follows. Entity manager M equal. Map. String. Object. Props equal new hash map. String. Object. Props. Put JAVAX. Persistence. Cache. Retrieve mode. Bypass. String person PK equal. Person person equal M. Find person. Class. Person PK. Props. Note. The cache retrieve mode is ignored when calling the entity manager. Refresh method, as calls to refresh always result in data being read from the database, not the cache. 
To set the retrieval or store mode when using queries, call the query. Set hint or type query. Set hint methods, depending on the type of query. Entity manager M equal. Criteria query. Person. CQ equal. Type query. Person. Q equal M. Create query CQ. Q. Set hint JAVAX. Persistence. Cache. Store mode, refresh. Setting the store or retrieve mode in a query or when calling the entity manager. Find or entity manager. Refresh methods overrides the setting of the entity manager. Controlling the second level cache programmatically. The JAVAX. Persistence. Cache interface defines methods for interacting with the second level cache programmatically. The cache interface defines methods to check whether a particular entity has cached data, to remove a particular entity from the cache, to remove all instances and instances of subclasses of an entity class from the cache, and to clear the cache of all entity data. Note, if the second level cache has been disabled, calls to the cache interface's methods have no effect, except for contains, which will always return false. Checking whether an entity's data is cached. Call the cache. Contains method to find out whether a given entity is currently in the second level cache. The contains method returns true if the entity's data is cached, and false if the data is not in the cache. Entity manager M equal. Cache cache equal M. Get entity manager factory. Get cache. String person PK equal. If cache. Contains person. Class person PK. The data is cached else. The data is not cached. Removing an entity from the cache. Call one of the cache. Evict methods to remove a particular entity or all entities of a given type from the second level cache. To remove a particular entity from the cache, call the evict method and pass in the entity class and the primary key of the entity. Entity manager M equal. Cache cache equal M. Get entity manager factory. Get cache. String person PK equal. Cache. Evict person. Class person. To remove all instances of a particular entity class, including subclasses, call the evict method and specify the entity class. Entity manager M equal. Cache cache equal M. Get entity manager factory. Get cache. Cache. Evict person. Class. All instances of the person entity class will be removed from the cache. If the person entity has a subclass, student, calls to the above method will remove all instances of student from the cache as well. Removing all data from the cache. Call the cache. Evict all method to completely clear the second level cache. Entity manager M equal. Cache cache equal M. Get entity manager factory. Get cache. Cash. Evict all.